Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, if you look up behind us, you will see a very large... Uh, oh my gosh. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're back in Microsoft Flight Simulator. And today, Ben and I are going to try to land on the RMS Queen Mary as per popular request. A lot of you commented below in the SSC United States video on Microsoft Flight Simulator that we should try and land on the Queen Mary. And, well, as difficult as it sounds, I think it might just be possible. So yeah, guys, let's get into the video. All right, Ben, are you ready to do a parallel takeoff? It's actually one of the first parallel takeoffs I'm ever going to do in Microsoft Flight Simulator, so that'll be cool. So, yeah, you ready? Yep. All right, let me just make sure my parking brake is off. Yep, there we go. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and visit the Queen Mary. All right, we are rolling. I'm going to try to do this facing this direction here so we can actually get a view and you're moving faster than me. What aircraft are you in, by the way? For me, you're... Uh, Diamond DA-62. You've got two engines, right? Yes. Okay. Well, I only have one engine, so I'm gonna go a little slower than you, so... Yeah, sometimes yeah, the I'm AI only, aircraft I'm only going can... I'm about 50% throttle at the moment. Sometimes the AI aircraft can look different than the, uh, the actual player aircraft, so... That may or may not be an issue. Now, what's cool about this is this is going to be my first time really looking at the Queen Mary in-game, and I'm expecting a lot of trees, just like the SS United States. Somehow the game thinks that there's a lot of trees there. I don't know, maybe it's because of the green decks or whatnot. Maybe Queen Mary doesn't have this issue because its decks are really just wood, so maybe the game really doesn't think that it's uh, trees at all, but we'll find out, so yeah. Okay, so I've got a master caution warning. That's okay, uh, just ignore it. For, well, it's for pedo heat. I gotta figure out where the pedo heat switch is real quick. Oh, there it is. Oh. I'm also well, getting don't sink. All right, I do see the Queen Mary. However, it does look more like the Titanic wreck instead of the Queen Mary, but I'm pretty sure as we get closer, it should uh, start to actually define itself. I do see that uh, that globe or that, uh, what do you call it? That dome over the... Uh, yeah, don't. It, yeah. It, it's the dome where the uh, spruce goose was Yes, like. that massive airplane. So... Yeah, we are about to reach the RMS Queen Mary in maybe a minute or two here, so this is going to be pretty cool. And I do see what looks to be possibly a cruise ship as well, because there is a cruise terminal right next to that dome thing. So, yeah. Oh boy, there it is. I already see two funnels appearing, and where the other funnel would be, that third funnel, there is a tree. So, that is very unfortunate uh -huh. to see, but... Yeah. Oh, that cruise ship's got a bit of mold growing on it. Oh my gosh. There he goes. He's going in for a landing. Oh, and he just crashed into the cruise ship. Great. Well, I've landed on something. I don't think you landed. I think you just crashed into the side of the cruise ship. Well, I'm uh, on my wheels currently on top of the cruise ship. Might be kind of hard to see me because I am kind of camouflaged because there's a tree that's kind of inside of me and also oh, below me. Oh, there's the your wing. Time. I see your wing. Yep, you're upside down. Or wait. Are you upside I down? I can't really tell. No, I am not. All right, so I'm actually going to go ahead and try to land on the Queen Mary. However, to do that, I'm actually going to make a long approach. So I'm going to fly all the way out here, turn around, and then aim in for the stern of the ship. Because the stern of the vessel has the most deck space, I would imagine. Or as far as I've seen from flying around and also, obviously, pictures of the ship and video. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to fly out over the cruise ship, try not to crash into it like Ben did and land on the Queen Mary. Wait, oh no, crashed into the Queen nope, Mary it's also. happening and I'm dead. All right, here we go. Coming in for a landing, I'm gonna go into the cockpit view. I think this is gonna be pretty horrific doing it this way, but we'll see how it goes. I'm actually gonna go ahead and scroll out a little bit so we can get a wider field of view there. All right, so we're going in for the stern and we just wanna lightly tap down onto the stern of the Queen Mary. You know what? Why don't we crash through the big glass windows at the stern into that restaurant? And somehow, um, I have just gone straight through the Queen Mary. Were you able to actually land on the deck? No, I, I hit the side and I just flew straight through. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and try to land on the Queen Mary once more. But this time, I'm just going to slam into the funnel. I want to see if there's actually collision on parts of the ship. So here we go. We're going to fly straight through the funnel or straight into the funnel and a bit see fast, what happens. Chief. So here we go. I know. Oh, nothing happened. Maybe I didn't hit it. Let's try again. All right, let's see. So I'm uh, on my side here, not stalling, surprisingly. And here we go. We're gonna fly straight into the bridge, see what happens. I may Will or I crash? May not have, oh, I may, may not oh my gosh. Um, sorry, Ben, but uh, I just died. 
I I just died too. Oh. I'm assuming I'm assuming you heard me uh, heard the noise that I made when I died. No, I'm not quite sure what happened. All right, here we go. Let's try to land in the center of the ship. I don't really care if I have a proper approach. I just want to see uh, if I can look above you. land on the deck. What? Look above you. Oh, I don't see it. Oh. Oh my gosh, I see something there. Um, interesting. So the funnels don't have collision, but the deck does in the middle of the ship. So, yeah. And hey, look at that. It's one of the, uh, I believe this is called the Fantasy Class ships, which, uh, been through some of them don't exist feet. anymore. Oh, there you are. Hello. You're dropping pretty fast, Ben. Uh, keep in mind, I am in a cub. Oh my gosh, that is quite fast. Um... I missed and he's dead. Ship. Yep, you slammed right into the parking lot. So, yeah, you're nothing but a bunch of plane parts. So I don't think I'm much of anything at all. Oh my gosh! I did it! I landed! I'm in a lifeboat, but I'm there. Oh, never mind. Alright, so Ben, I've learned the secret to the Queen Mary. You have to land right next to the center funnel. The second funnel on board the ship. And near the lifeboats, because that is where... Your plane will actually be stopped, and I see you over there. He's going in for a landing. Let's see how successful he'll be at it. He's going in. And he crashed into the sign. What? Great. No, I haven't even landed yet. Oh. That's weird. Oh, did you land? Yes. I'm Excellent. Landing, but I landed. All right, so here we go. We're going to try this again. And we're going to slow the plane down. We're going to drop all of the flaps to make sure we're going as slow as possible. Push down. Did you land on the cruise ship? No. Oh my gosh, did you land on the dome? Possibly. Oh my gosh, wow. I rolled that off the is... side, though. Well, so... I mean, it's a dome, so I wouldn't be surprised, but I'm impressed that you actually were able to land on it. So here we go, we're gonna try to land on the deck of the Queen Mary. So now that we know the funnels really just don't exist, they're holograms, we're gonna go ahead and just ignore their existence and try to land square on the deck of the ship. Here we go. We're going to treat it just like an aircraft carrier. And I've landed on the parking garage. Yep, I see that there. But right now, my main focus is getting this thing on the uh, the deck of the ship. So here we go. I've nice sunk and the, easy. I've sunk in the plane. The plane has been sunken. Wow. Here we go. Touchdown. I don't know how that's possible. One second, I'm on the deck. The next second, I've been teleported under the ship. All right. Well, the best way to avoid the forward funnel is just to land on the, on the, on the, the ship. ship. And I've fallen off the cruise ship. Wow. And now I'm The cruise ship it. is like, it has a flat deck. It should be very easy to land on it. It's just completely I flat. I may or may not have landed because I hit the, uh, the funnel. All right, here we go. We're going to avoid the forward funnel entirely. Just land on the back deck of the ship. Okay, so I've just learned something. Um, and that one thing is, is it doesn't matter where you hit the ship. If you hit it with enough speed, you'll just be teleported. So... Yeah. All right, so here we go. We're going to try to stall the airplane onto the Queen Mary's deck so we avoid an actual collision. And we're going to do this from the cockpit view this time. And this is going to be very difficult because I have to pull the plane up vertically right at the last second to try to get the tail to hit. And we're actually going to have to go into the uh, third person perspective here. Pull up the nose. Here we go. Stall, 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 stall. There it is. I did it, Ben. I successfully landed without falling off. Oh, never mind. I got teleported below. Anyways, I want to divert your attention to the large Airbus A380 taxiing on the water for takeoff. So, yeah. Oh, that's we're not happening. Taxiing. We're at full throttle. And wow. takeoff. And we're back. Anyways, I'm interested to see what's going on over here. As you can see, the Airbus A380 is approaching the cruise ship. Oh my gosh! And there he goes. There he oh, goes. We're over speed. How? Yeah, I'm, you I just crashed into a cruise ship. Anyways. Well, we're also still flying. All right, here we go. Let's try to land on the Queen Mary once more here. I'm going to pass over the parking garage. I'm going to see how this goes. So, as you can see, the parking garage is... Uh, Got a lot of cars on it, as it should have. And here we go. Let's try to land on the Queen Mary. And it didn't work. I'm approaching. Oh my gosh, I see you. 
Ben, what's going on with your uh, plane here? I'm using slow mode to uh, to look at this, but but what's going on here? Did you just spawn the plane on top of the Queen Mary? Nope. I Wait. I just flew it right into the into the boat and uh, it stopped me and I landed. All right, Ben, I've got myself a very large aircraft. It might be a 747. It might not. But we're going to go ahead and see if we can uh, replicate what you did. So we're going to touch down on the uh, ship here. And here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, if you look up behind us, you will see a very large, uh, oh my a gosh. Very large aircraft. It happened, and it worked. Um, however, the plane is going all the way through the ship, and only the right wing is sticking out and the tail of the aircraft. So, yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and try this again, but this time I'm gonna try to land near the center of the uh, Queen Mary. So here we go. Oh, this is not working. Oh my gosh. Oh, there you are. And an Orbit Airlines 747. There oh it is. I almost, I, I almost was on top of the boat. Yes, I see that. And now you're falling off. But um, I may or may have not just crashed into the globe or the uh, the dome. Yep, so, I see that. Yep. All right, here we go. Oh, Ben's just done it. And, oh, I'm going to overshoot it. Uh-oh, everybody on the cruise ship is not going to have a good day. And, yep, there we go. All right, so for the grand finale, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take this Boeing 747 and nosedive it straight into the Queen Mary from an altitude of 100,000 feet. So it's going to be pretty interesting. As you can see, there's Ben over to the left. And we are quite literally in space. The camera is freaking out. The plane is freaking out, making a lot of weird noises. And we should be accelerating above... 900 miles an hour or 900 knots actually we are currently uh just above 950 knots now so yeah we're going so fast that the actual airspeed indicator has gone all the way up to its maximum number and started back at zero again so yeah if that gives you any indication of how fast we're going um then yeah and as you can see my camera is going straight through the uh or getting really close to the front of the uh display there all right, so here we go. All I have to do is line up with the Queen Mary, and we should have some success. So, yeah. Uh-oh, this is uh, this is not working. My plane has suddenly uh, rejoined actual physics, and um, it's not allowing me to descend any further. All right, well, I'm just going to have to sully land on the water here because I can't really do anything. So, here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, touch down. Boom. Oh. Well, apparently the uh, the water just bounced me off, and uh, I'm flying again. So everybody is saved! Yay! Uh oh, that's not good. Oh, oh gosh, nope, that would have ripped the plane apart completely. All right, folks, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye. <laughs>